Okay, suspect interrogation dated October 28, 2016. Suspects charged with indecent exposure, resisting arrest, possession of an unlicensed firearm, and conspiracy murder. Time is 4.09 p.m. How you doing? Okay, I guess. Good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Now then, let's go over everything one more time. I've already told you everything I know. Humor me. Well, it all started last Wednesday. At least, I think it was Wednesday. I was at band practice, and I stepped away for a second. And suddenly this crazy guy, dressed as a doctor, jumps in my buddy's spray booth, and he's acting all weird and stuff. Says he's from the future, and he's got to warn us because my buddy Rob's about to go crazy and kill the whole band. So... Obviously, I don't believe him, but sure enough, he's inside the spray booth. He's got this crazy machine. At least, like one of these things, like those bad 60s uh, sci fi movies. So, yeah, I, I asked Rob if he was planning on killing us. And he said, maybe. And I asked him, would you mind not doing that? And he said, okay. So, I kind of figured that was okay then. Everything was peachy again. So, well, we realized that we're one week away from our band's Halloween show. And we've got a time machine, so why don't we go back in time to medieval England and spend a year getting some solid practice in, kind of like that Bill and Ted movie. The what no. movie? Never mind. And Anyway, so we, we do this. We, we, we go back, and it's all good, except we can't really get our shit together. and We keep on having to go back and get stuff, and it's impossible to get everyone in the mood at the same time, and Sammy keeps on running off and fighting the Norman invasion, so... So yeah, the, we keep on having to go back and using the time machine again, and eventually we use it so often that the damn thing breaks and catapults us into the future, where we, we meet future Bruce and future Sam. Um, and they live in this crazy future land that's just amazing. And they tell us about this cloning technology they've got, and that's how they keep people alive, and why they're still alive. And that's all cool, except that then Rob, who turns out he always was a psycho in the first place, steals the cloning machine, and the time machine, and disappears back into time. Okay, this bit's gonna seem really weird. Bit weird like how? Because this is your reality. You don't know any different, but... How do you mean? Rob's been traveling throughout history, replacing significant world historical figures with clones of himself. Why? I don't know, because he's fucking crazy! God! We think that he doesn't just want to take over the world, he wants to take over all of history as well. So, wait a minute. You're saying that a load of people I learned about in history what? class in school are actually your buddy, this Robert Onoshenko? Yeah, I know. Who? Name one. Okay then, Lincoln. Rob. Seriously? Da Vinci. Rob. Hitler. Rob. Kennedy? Oswald. Jesus Christ! Rob. Look, that's all very good and well, and very interesting. Yeah, I know. But you know what I'm really interested in? Is why a 50-foot motherfucking dinosaur tore up Capilano Mall earlier this evening. Well, that, uh, th that's Sam's fault. Is this fucking thing working?